Now moving on to looping. So we introduced looping in our bash scripting video. And we took the for loops and we made one line for loops and those should be familiar to you. So a for loop is just a start to finish of an iterate, right? We wanted to run that ping scanner, for example, and we started at the one and we ended at 256 on our IP sweep. Now we're going to introduce that in Python form and we're also going to introduce a while loop. Now the while loop is going to come back into play later on in this course, especially when we get into the exploit development part of the course. So a while loop, just think of it that it executes as long as something is true. So let's make a new section here. We're gonna do a new line as usual, and we're just gonna go ahead and just say something like looping. And let's go ahead and start with for loops. So we'll do for loops, and let's note that this is just the start to finish of an iterate, okay? So let's say, for example, that we have a list, okay? Let's go back to lists and we'll say vegetables. And let's just throw some vegetables in there. You can pick whatever you want. I'm gonna do cucumber, I'm gonna do spinach, and how about cabbage, okay? And again, your list can look however you want it to look. Now, for this for loop, we're gonna say for x, and remember, same thing with bash, x can be whatever you wanna call it. You can call this for veggies, you can call it whatever you want. I just like to use a letter because it's simple to type out. We're gonna say for x in vegetables, we're just gonna print x. And what do we think this is gonna do? This is gonna go through this list, right? It's gonna say for every item in vegetables, I want you to print that out. So we're gonna grab cucumber, we're gonna grab spinach, we're gonna grab cabbage, it's gonna print, print, print. So let's take a look at that. Let's go ahead and save it. We'll run our script here. You can see that it printed cucumber, spinach, and cabbage. So again, you've seen this before, just a classic example of a for loop. As long as we have something to iterate through, we're iterating through a list here. And remember before, again, we were like sequence one through 255, we iterated through that to do our ping sweep. So we're just iterating through something. That's it, really basic. Now, we also have while loops. So we'll say while loops, and these execute as long as true. So later on, you're gonna see something that says while true, It'll be capital while true, we're gonna do something. Don't worry about that right now. For this example, what we're gonna do is we're going to say i equals one, okay? And so we set a variable i that's equal to one. Now let's do a while loop. We're gonna say while i is less than 10, I want you to go ahead and print out i, and then we're going to iterate i plus equals one. So this should all start tying together from what you saw earlier. Remember that we had the plus equals and we're adding one to something. So what we're doing here is we're saying, hey, i equals one. And you know what, while i is less than 10, I want you to go ahead and print out i, then we're going to say, hey, i is plus or equal to 1, so that means i is now going to be 2. Then we're going to go back through this loop again. Now, while 2 is less than 10, go ahead and print out that it's 2, make it 3. 3 is less than 10. Over and over and over and over until this condition is no longer true. The second that this i becomes 10, this loop is now no longer true, and it's going to stop. So we're going to go ahead and save this here. Let's go ahead and print this out. And you can see that we just printed one through nine as expected. So you're gonna to get to see these again. You're gonna get examples of them again. As of right now, I just want you to understand that a for loop is an iterate and a while loop executes as long as true, okay? So don't worry about how they're used quite yet. Just understand what they are, what they mean, and then you're gonna see them come up in practical examples later on. It'll make a lot more sense as we go through it. So we're gonna move on to the next video. I'm gonna go ahead and catch you over there.